Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to be using the great Divi Image Hover Effects plugin. You can get some fantastic effects going with this. All kind of text to image effects. These are really popular on sites at the moment. But not only can you get sort of text to image effects, you can actually do an image swap as well. If we go down to the bottom here, this last one, if I hover over it, it swaps out the image for a new one. Now the Divi swap effect comes in five different flavors. You've got the regular sort of fade in. You've got a zoom in. You've got a push up. You've got a push in from the side. And you've got a blur in where one blurs out and the other one blurs in. And it's really easy to do, so let's get started. Divi Image Hover Effect it looks like at the moment they've got a reduction on from $50 to $15. And that's for about 250 effects there. So it's a pretty good deal. So first thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. I'll start a new row. And yeah, let's put two columns in there. Divi by standard comes with just about all of these light gray modules. You get an extra 12 also if you've got WooCommerce installed and you're selling products. The only one it doesn't come with is our Divi Image Hover, which is our new plugin. So just left click on that to add it. And it's going to ask you what effect you want to use. As we're using a swap, I'm just going to go straight down to the content. I'm going to put in my first image. So just choose whatever image you want to put in there. I roll down. There's our little image right there. Puts the default color overlay in there. That'll disappear when we choose our second image. Now we're still on the content tab. Let's roll down. We don't need to put any content in because we won't see any with our swap effect. Go down to where it says swap effect. Simply turn this to on. Now we can choose our second image. So now when I hover over, you can see it switches from one to the other. How easy was that? And you can add the defaults, the fade that we've got there. We've got zoom. It'll zoom in. Push up. You get the idea. So there we have it. You can just select the one you want. Now the only other settings you've got here that you might want to adjust is the alt text for the image, this should really be a description of the actual image itself. Although a lot of people do use it for SEO and put in keywords and things like that in the alt text. And you can do the same for your content up here. Image opacity, that's the see-throughness. You can take it down if you want to, but in this case there's no need to. If you had a column with a colored background or something, that might work quite well. But for our purposes, we don't need to do anything. On the design tab, again, there's not too much because there's no title, prefix, infix, or suffix. There's no fonts. So the only things we really could do here, we could, we could give it rounded corners if you wanted to. Um, you can give it a border if you want to. And you could give it a box shadow. We've got no button, we've got no custom borders and no spacing. So the only other thing that we might want to do is give it a bit of box shadow and that's entirely up to you. But that's it, that's all there is to it. And that's a nice little effect to have on your site. So let's just save this and see what we've got here. Exit the Visual Builder. Go down to where we were. And there's our little 
image swap effect really easy to do and that's a nice little effect to have on your site if somebody's rolling down it and rolls their mouse over that they, it's going to catch their eye very quickly so i hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day